In this video, I'm going to share how I purchased a million dollar apartment building with $50,000 of my money at the age of 32. Now you're going to want to stay till the end because I'm going to share something that helped me buy this property. Without this, the deal would have been dead. So here are the eight steps, short and sweet. Step one, we found an interested seller. I did this initial contact by just sending out a letter and calling them. And finally, after many, many follow-ups, I got a bite. Now this is a fourplex in the city of Pasadena. Somebody that said, I'm interested in selling my building. Send me an offer. And we did. We sent them a standard purchase agreement through email and then the follow-up game began. Step two, we negotiated the price and terms. We met at the seller's home in their living room. The big thing for us was to just listen. Once we heard them out, we all came to the agreement that the next step was to go do a walkthrough of the property. So step three is a walkthrough of the property, also known as a visual inspection. Basically, we got to go to the property, walk around, see the condition. There was a lot of work that was needed to the property. Now, this could have been an obstacle to me, but I just decided, you know what? I do like the property. I'm willing to take on the project. I'm going to move forward with this. Now, step four was opening escrow. I then opened escrow and I had to put a deposit. And this is where I put $50,000 of my own money into escrow as the deposit. I want to be clear, there was no real estate agent involved here. This negotiation was directly from the seller to me as the buyer. The escrow is a third party, which is neutral. The escrow helps communicate with the three of us, but all negotiations were directly between the buyer, myself, and the seller. So the seller got to save over $60,000 in commissions by not listing it with a real estate agent. Now, step five was go find a partner. See, my father had already said, Mike, I'm not going to join you on this one. And I started pitching it to some investors that I know locally that are experienced in already doing rehabs or flips. I'm going to do a separate video on the numbers and how they make sense as a flip and not as a hold property. I was able to partner with someone who does flips. They're very well known in the area. And we were able to team up and create a actual agreement. I found this out very quickly. If you have a deal, a good deal will find a partner. So here's where I told my partner, look, I'll put $50,000 of my money to have skin in the game. And I had that as a note in second position. So when the property gets sold, the hard money loan gets paid first, and then my note gets paid back to me second. That's using the property as collateral, and it protects my investment as well, aside from the partnership agreement that we made on splitting the net proceeds. Now, what percentage do you negotiate with your partner? You have to figure that out based on the experience you bring, the contacts you bring, etc. Now, in step six, the deal almost died. Here's what happened. We found that there were issues with the foundation and we went back to the seller and said, look, based on the inspection we did during the escrow period, we saw that the foundation has problems. We'd like to send a foundation specialist. And the seller told us, look, it's an as is sale. You understood that from the beginning. You cannot do another inspection. So we said, well, it's too much of a risk because we don't know how much it's going to cost us to fix that foundation. Please let us inspect it. They said it's as is, take it or leave it. And I respectfully went back to them after several sleepless nights. And I said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and cancel escrow. So I sent the cancellation of escrow. And that same day, the seller called me. And what happened next was really, really interesting. The seller asked me, we understand you're going to walk away. Sorry, it didn't happen. But at what price does it still make sense for you? That's when I realized the deal is not dead until documents are signed, escrow is canceled. But I went back and I said, at a million dollar purchase price, it makes sense because of the risk that we're taking on with the foundation. And three days later, the seller called me and said, you know what, Mike, at a million twenty five, we can make this happen. And my partner and I agreed. So step seven was a seventy five thousand dollar price reduction that allowed us to take on whatever risk was coming with the foundation and move forward. And step eight was closing escrow. We funded, which meant the hard money lender provided the cash to escrow and we recorded on the same day. That allowed us to close escrow and title transferred to now the company that's holding 
the apartment in its name. That being said, we're now in the project of rehabbing the property and we're going to flip the property. So stay tuned to see if we make any money on it. If the deal is a good deal, it will find a partner.